Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is a reaction well for a new series and it is about being regenerated no reborn into a slime. It is the first episode and um you know, for those who never watched any of my reactions, first thing first, the reaction itself is in my descriptions. You just have to select the link there, replace the circumflex dot parts with real dots, and you can see the reaction. Once you've done Come back here and you can hear my thoughts about this awesome episode. So, that's it already. I'll see you soon. For those that came back, welcome back. Okay, um, I mean, there's a lot to talk about here. And it is uh, clearly going to be an interesting ride because it's fitting very, very many of my likings. So, I'm cool with this series so far. Um, first things first, what a name. That time that I got regenerated? No, I'm always having to check again. Uh, reborn? Reincarnated. That's it. Reincarnated into a slime. Okay. I mean, just thinking about that. I think it is in Buddhism. I might be wrong. But I think it is in Buddhism where you are reincarnated depending on what you did in life. So if you are, um, if, if you did good deeds, you are reincarnated as something more beautiful, more powerful, whatever, right? Um, I don't know, butterfly. Or uh, I think the, f the highest form is human. I'm not, I'm, I'm not so good in that, so I'm not sure. Um, and if you are, yeah, if you were a bad guy, then you are reborn as, I don't know, a sloth or something like that. But as a slime is pretty close to that one in my opinion. So what did he do? Um, well, that's one thing. Uh, the name is complicated, however, so I will possibly just name the episode Slime. Slime 1, Slime 2 and so on. Um, he seems to be a nice fella so far. Uh, what we've seen from him as a human. So uh, that seems to be okay and his name is and i wrote it down on my list uh, mikami satoru so um 37 years of age never had a girlfriend died as a virgin well that's unique you have to say that it's something you really have to achieve i kind of doubt it a bit seeing him because he's not so bad looking so he should have had a chance of getting a girlfriend um so he possibly was kind of a loner i guess However, we started off in the episode, in the first one, with a town being bombarded. Um, it looked a lot, by the way, a bit like um, the town later on being burned by the dragon. Although, I can be sure it wasn't. So, it was a town possibly in World War II, um, or something like that, being bombarded. And they didn't make it to the shelter. The uh, mom disappeared, as it seems. And the girl was being... As I guess now, um, Somont to this realm that we are in now in the end. So she is one of the Somont and thus is bound to the mage that Somont her, as we know now. And I guess it's some time already she has grown up to be a young, young woman, possibly a possible love interest for our little slime, um, and is wearing the mask. So interesting. I'm pretty sure we will see her again, and if you are stranded in a different world, it is a special thing if you have the option to find someone from your world, even when this person is from another time. Still, you know, there's like a relationship, so I guess he will search for her as soon as he knows. And he knows now, so why not? Um, he, however, Mikami Satoru, there he is, um, was a bit unlucky, so one of his protégés, one of his colleagues, something like that, uh, very much younger, uh, wanted to introduce him to a girl, wanted to, it seems like they are about to engage there, right? Oh, that was never clearly stated. Um, and while doing so, he got stabbed. Now, this stabbing is a bit strange to me. Um, and I asked myself, what the heck happened there? So there is a guy in open daylight running with a knife, which by the way was not a normal knife. That was um, a, a fighting knife, a warrior knife, you know, one of the soldiers has in the army. Way too large and um, 
made for killing, not for, you know, making food or anything. Um, and he's running with that in front of him, um, not in his hand somewhere and then just step while running by. So he's using it like a spear, running towards, as it seems, the younger man, uh, one. Although I'm not sure if he was aiming for him, it looked more like he was just running straight. Like he had no real control or was in some kind of panic, fanatic mode. I have no idea. And um, Mikami Satoru pushed his friend out of the way and by doing so got stabbed. Okay. It is a bit weird because the way it happened was really strange. Um, and I asked myself if maybe just maybe we will later on have like a revelation about why this happened. Maybe that was not an accident, not a coincidence. Maybe that this was somehow staged, just saying. Maybe not, but then it was just weird. Um, so he dies, and while dying, and I really like that, um, he has thoughts running through his mind about everything, you know? And those thoughts are interpreted by, I guess, a computer? into what he will be reincarnated to. That is clever. Holy heck, who came up with this idea? That's so good. So first things first, the computer. I mean, he was working for a company. Um, maybe someone invented a computer. Maybe he somehow found in a project that used that. If not, then how the heck did they choose him to be reincarnated? Is it really just luck? Um, so. I mean, I, I did not write it all down, so it was about that he felt hot and cold while lying there, so he got heat resistance, cold resistance, stuff like that. Um, he didn't want to be, he realized it's not cool to be injured like that, so they gave him physical resistance, which is pretty handy in the future, I guess. Um, he doesn't like to bleed, I mean, who does? So he got a body that does not need blood. And so on. So. Really clever. So those parts, Monita defined that he's a slime. However, he got some... S his mind was spinning away and he thought about that in this age, being still a virgin, in old age he might be like a sage or stuff like that. So they gave him the sage ability. And this one is very important for, Ma uh, for us here because this ability allows him to um, analyze and improve stuff. I mean, that's really cool. And the fact that he is thinking about that he never had a girlfriend and when he will be wise or ever be reborn or have another life, he will get every girl, makes him into a predator of some kind, which I guess might be a problem in the future. I hope he has some ways to control this urge, right? It would be, oh well, don't have to see that too much. Um, so a really clever and nice way of creating a new being. I like it. So he gets regenerated into this other world. So cool. And he's eating plants and stones. <laughs> so I'm I'm not sure. I mean, uh, when he woke up, when he first came to his senses, being a slime, um, the world around him, I, I even said it felt like graphics is loading. Like um, maybe just maybe he's inside a computer program. Some a virtual space, some created world in an AI or whatever, um, that might be an option. However, if he lives there, it is a real world for him, so that's cool for me. <coughs> he has the ability to create stuff inside himself in like um, a bellows that is not in his body completely. Um, and by doing so, he just created an enormous amount of potions, which is always a good thing. Um, he swallowed the stones, which gave him more abilities and options. So he is like a little walking fabrication unit. So, uh, or not walking in his case, more like slithering. Um, and he met this cool dragon. I mean, who wouldn't want that? If you are a level one character and you're born, first things to do, get like a high level ally. <laughs> because, just in case. So he met, um, what was his name, Verudora? I think it was Verudora, the storm dragon. One of four, I wrote that down. Who 
accidentally burnt down a, a small town. Well, stuff happens. We all know. That was a really cool episode. I like it. It's it's a very clever idea. Um, the whole idea about it, um, setting up a new world, reminds me of, as example, No Game No Life, which I reacted to already. So the idea of having alternate universes, alternate planes of existence, and stuff like that. I mean, it's a big question. What happens when we die? And why not something like that? Um, it would be interesting. Interesting, especially does he seems to remember his normal life still, I guess. Um, his voice got younger, which makes sense. Thus, he is reborn now, so why should he have an old voice? Um, and it is a world of survival of the fittest, and by what he got as abilities, he possibly has good options and good chances to be one of the fittest. Um, there are others from other planes, uh, no, other um, worlds. Other worldless? So... Brings a, gives us a huge amount of different species with different, I guess, like levels in technology and everything. Good one. Really looking forward to. I mean, by now we are still in a cave, so let's see what's else to come. Um, we've seen in the outro that there are other characters who seem to be more important in the future. So I'm looking forward to. That was a great uh, first episode. Really nice. That's it for me this time. As always, if you want to, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. My name is Relax and Panic. Goodbye and out.